If you do that calculation, you find that the maximum mass of a star, which is just a lump of matter held up by this process, is 1.4 times the mass of our sun. So it's an astonishing calculation. How does that relate to the fundamental properties of the universe? Because all we've used there, we've used quantum mechanics, and we've used the strength of gravity. Those are the things. These are the things. Planck's constant, the speed of light, Newton's gravitational constant. Those are the things we used when we looked at the Planck units, like the Planck length. So you can use those things. Strength of gravity, speed of light, Planck's constant, to construct a mass. It's called a Planck mass. And it's rather big, actually. So whereas the Planck length is very, very tiny, the Planck mass is about the mass of a, of a grain of dust, a mote of dust. It's quite a large thing, but you can calculate it.